So it was finally time for Lamar funeral. I ain't gonna lie, gang. I was going through it. This was the last time I was gonna see cuz. I was just glad my baby was there to support me through all this. Cuz funeral was more packed than I thought it would be. It was nice to see everybody there showing him love for one more time. After the service, we all went out to the graveyard to bury him. I hadn't got a chance to holler at Frank's son and his baby mama since all this was going on, but this was the perfect time. What's up, Keisha? You and Deuce fine? You all need anything? She like, yeah, we straight. Right now, I'll let you know if we need anything. You talk to Frank, though. Know? Me and cuz ain't really seeing eye to eye right now. He blamed me for this shit with Lamar. But regardless, this is C and my little cousin. So no matter what, y'all straight. Hit me up if y'all need anything. Hey, Deuce, if you ever need anything, like I told your mom, don't hesitate to reach out. I know I'm not your pops, but we all we got, cuz. I'll raise you if I got to. Later that night, I was on a mission, gang. I found out where one of that full greedy trap spots was at. And I was finna go hit it up to recover what they ran off with. I know that fool Grady was pissed when he found out we hit his spot. We gonna get all the motherfuckers back for this, bro. That whip I took had two boxes in it. One of them had a million dollars cash in it. The other one had 16 bricks in it. This was gonna keep me afloat a little bit longer, gang. Well, apparently an innocent person got killed in our shootout, and the mayor was not happy about that. He called the press conference the next day and announced that the LAPD and the FBI had launched a joint task force to fight organized crime in the city. This was going to make things way more complicated, gang. Detective Chip Daniels and Curtis Williams. One of them was a straight-edge by-the-book cop. If he caught you with anything, you was going to jail for it. Now his partner on the other hand, was dirty as hell. He would hop out on you and pistol whip you and rob you. If you was from the streets and you was outside getting money and not paying him, that was your ass. He did one of the homies so dirty before. Don't move, nigga, or I'm gonna put a bullet in your ass. Back up and empty your pockets. Think you can be out here on my streets hustling and not pay me my cut? Boy, you got life fucked up. I should put a bullet in your ass right now for dodging me. The homie telling, look, man, you caught me. Just take me to jail. This some petty shit. I'll be right back out on the streets tomorrow. Is that right, little nigga? Come with me. We finna take a ride. His dirty ass dropped the homie off in the blood, hood. What's going on, fellas? I got a little present for y'all. Get your ass off my car, nigga, before I shoot your ass.
He basically gave the homie a death sentence with that move. So two days later, I'm at my new office for my trucking company. It was an old recycling plant, but it was gonna have to do for now. I was in there conducting interviews for the driver position. I only had the one truck right now, but I knew expansion was inevitable. Man, I ain't gonna lie. This legal stuff was definitely a different challenge. Everybody I interviewed gave out the same answers on why I should hire them. It was either because I'm a hard worker, I'd be a great asset to your company, or I've been doing this for years, and I didn't know who I wanted to hire y'all. Thank you for taking the time for this interview. I'll be in touch. Man, y'all, this shit had me stressed out, besides everything going on in the streets. Now, while I'm outside smoking Sid, my cousin G-Stone pull up on me. And this fool hop out the car with how low cousin Lee Na. What's cracking, low cuz? Lee Na, always nice to see you. His ass was in disbelief, like, damn, cuz, y'all already know each other? And she like, hey, aunt, nice to see you. Duh, cuz, you know how long I've known how. But what y'all about to get into? I know you ain't come up here to apply for no job. So what's up? Oh, me and baby about to slide up to the studio to holler at Poppy. But I really came up here cuz, cuz I had some things that I wanted to holler at you about. Lee Knight, could you give me and my cousin a few minutes? I promise I'll return them to you. Go wait by the car, baby. I'll be right there. I know you heard about that fool socks getting smoked the other day. You know that was my work, right? Ain't nobody gonna play with this family, cuz. And with him out the way, all we gotta do is take Greedy out. That's what I'm talking about, cuz. But we gonna have to put the brakes on taking Greedy out for now. I know you seen they putting together a task force to take us down. So more smoke gonna make it hot for us. So as much as I'd love to put a bullet in that fool, we gotta chill right now. Why the hell you got that girl in the ghetto, man? Get her out of here, it ain't safe. Man, everything good, cuz. We safe. You know I stay strapped up like seat belts. I already know. I ain't worried about you. Man, cuz, if anybody let off a pop shot at me or baby way, they going in the dirt. She in good hands like oil state. Just chill. Man, cuz, your ass so hard-headed. I just want y'all safe. Do how know you dealing with her? Hell no, cuz. And he don't got to. Our names is on fire in these streets, cuz. If anything happened to that girl while she with you, we gonna fall out with how. Look, I know you can handle yourself, but I don't think Shorty built for this lifestyle. That's all I'm trying to say. No, I get it, cuz. I'ma get her out of here. You right. But what's going on with the work situation? Frank still ain't fucking with me, but I do got a couple of bricks though. Cool, cause I'ma need to re-up again soon. I'ma hit you when I'm ready. In the meantime, my nigga, you stay out the way too. I can't lose no more family. Cuz didn't even know. That's the same thing I was trying to tell him. After cuz pull off, I get two texts. One from House saying pull up to the docks. He got something he wanna show me. And the other one is from Jessica. She saying meet her at the marina in two hours. She got some people she want me to meet. I wonder what they got up they sleeves. We gonna see. So 
So when I pull up on Hal, he's standing in front of a whip I ain't never seen before. I'm like, damn, what's that? What's up, Hal? What you got right here? He like, this is a 2024 Ferrari Puro Sangue, fresh off the boat. Don't nobody got this. And since you got the SF90 from me, why not grab the truck to match? Okay, so how much you want for it? Aunt, you're a friend, so give me 410000 and it's yours. Ferrari truck, huh? Let me test this thing out real quick and maybe I will grab it. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This thing was nasty. I had never seen nothing like it before. And when I hopped in and started it up, it just felt so right. Yeah, homie, I definitely gotta have this thing. I'ma wire you 440,000, take it to Frank's shop for me, and have Gus paint it, put new shoes on it, and change the color of the interior. I'll text you the details of how I want it. Good looking on this, how. After that, I was off to meet Jessica at the marina. When I pull up, I see her car, but I ain't see her. So I text her like, where you at? She like walk down to the boat docks and you'll see me. When I get down there, she waving like, Aunt, over here. I'm thinking, who the hell boat is this? What's up, Jessica? Who we supposed to be meeting right here? She like, nobody right here. This boat is our way to the meeting, and you don't want to keep these people waiting. Girl, I really don't mess with boats in the water, I ain't gonna lie to you. She like wild, so the big bad aunt is afraid of a little water. Don't worry, I won't let you drown. Oh, you got jokes. Alright, let's go. If I drown, I'm blaming you for it. Why we couldn't meet these people on land? Because these people I'm about to introduce you to love yachts. Damn, they got some big paper then, cause yachts ain't cheap. distance I see big mega yacht I'm thinking like damn this girl super connected why Frank ain't take advantage of this this yacht was crazy y'all they had a helicopter and a DJ I guess this was a party so Jessica walk over to two dudes and start hollering at them She like, this is the guy I've been telling you about. Aunt, come over here and introduce yourself. 
my name's Anthony Clinton, nice to meet you. He like, hey Anthony, I'm Devin West. please, have a seat. I hear a lot of great things about you. Alright. So, are you the Devin Weston who owns half of this city? Yeah, that's me. It's more like 60% now. But Jessica tells me that you just started a trucking company. That's awesome. Maybe I can make a couple of calls and get you some really lucrative contracts. First off, it's an honor to meet you, sir. The way you built your empire is inspiring. And yeah, we just started. So I got one truck right now, but I'm looking to expand as soon as possible, and you doing that will greatly help. He like, thank you, son. The honor's all mine. I love meeting young, hungry entrepreneurs. It reminds me of how I was in the beginning. Have you met my friend Brucey e. Klebitz right here? He owns 20% of New York. It's an honor to meet you, Mr. Klebitz. Call me Brucey, e., bro. And if you're ever out in my city, don't hesitate to hit me up. If you need a place to stay, or if you're trying to do some business. I appreciate that, Brosie. I was just out there like five months ago. But I'll definitely let you know the next time that I'm out there. Look forward to seeing you, bro. After that, Mr. Weston started breaking down his whole life story to me. And how he made his billions. I was soaking up so much game, y'all. This was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. After about two hours, it was time for us to go. I look forward to working with both of you in the future. Thanks for the hospitality. He like, likewise, son. You'll be hearing from me very soon. I'll get your info from Jessica. Man, y'all, I couldn't believe I was just on a yacht with two billionaires. Shorty definitely looked out with this. She really wanted to see me win. After getting back to land, I was wondering in my head what kind of other connection she had. I was gonna ask her. Jessica, you work with my cousin Frank for a while now, so I'm pretty sure you know what we do. Well, I was wondering if you had any underworld connections you could hook me up with. She like, of course I know, man. I'm not dumb. I was hired to help Frank clean up his money, because I'm good at that. But I do have some people from my past that may be able to help you. Damn, Jessica, you full of surprises. You think you could set up a meeting between me and these people? I should be able to set up a meeting between you, no problem. I really appreciate that. You've already done enough for me today, and I definitely appreciate that, but I need this bad like today. Listen, Ant, it's alright. When you win, I win. It's short notice, so I can't guarantee today, but let me see what I can do. Me and this person go way back. Hey, if not today, it's alright, Jess. We good. She like, all right, it's a go. We'll take your car to get there. So later on that night, we get to the destination. It's a trailer park in the desert. I'm thinking to myself, like what the hell is we doing out here? It looks super shady. When we get out the whip, I see a bunch of biker gang dudes. Jessica like, I'm here to see T. Tell them that chipmunk's here. The biker like, alright, I'll be right back. I'm like, who the hell is chipmunk and what did I get myself into? So the dude come back and tell us to walk over by that trailer to the left. He'll meet us over there. So while we over there, I see one of them get up and he's walking towards us. She like, Aunt, 
this is my big brother Trevor. Trevor, this is my friend and business partner, and man, this dude look crazy, gang. And I'm crazy. So she get to tell him that I'm in the game and I need some product to move. Only reason I haven't killed you yet is because my chipmunk's vouching for you. Hey, listen, homie. I'm here to do business. It ain't no reason to be sending threats. You into making money, and I'm in the same game. Any product you got, I can move. I was just messing with you, compadre. Testing you. You pass. We're not really in the weed and coke around here. We primarily move ice. You know anything about that? It's a gold mine. No, I, I really don't, but I heard about it. I'm a hustler, see? One thing about me, I can sell water to a wig. You talk a big game, I like that. Let's see if you can bag it up. 500,000 gets you in the door. Okay, that's nothing. I can have that money ready for you tomorrow. Just let me know when and where. You really don't know me, homie, but I'm about to make us both more money than you ever seen. That's what I like to hear, compadre. Tomorrow morning, I'll give my sister the coordinates, and she can pass it to you. Don't be late. I don't do shady business, T. Once we agree on terms, it's set in stone. And I'm always on time. Just hold your end of the deal up, and we strike. Of course, homie. You got nothing to worry about. I'm just a little cautious, because this is my first time meeting you, that's all. All right. It's a bet. I'll see you tomorrow morning, T. I ain't know much about the math game, y'all. But when I was done, I was gonna be known as Iceman Ant for more than one reason. So after that, we made our way back to the city. Listen, Jessica, you don't know how much that meant to me. I ain't know what I was finna do. I really feel like you one that want me to really win. She like, listen, man, it's nothing. I told you earlier, when you win, I win. I want you to understand that we are a team. I get that, Jess. That's 100. I just ain't had a lot of real people in my life. So this is new to me. She tell me this is only the beginning, man. Thanks again, Jessica. Seriously. She like, I'll text you the address I got in the AM. Man, it was crazy having somebody that wasn't even family go the extra mile for me. I wasn't used to that guy. So I definitely had to keep shorty on that team. After that... I made my way to the crib to prepare. Your boy had to be up extra early. So the next morning, I go to the address that Jessica sent me. When I pull up, I see three bikes. So I know it's only three of them in there. Now you might call it paranoid, or just being cautious. But I had the Glock on me just in case shit got out of hand. Everybody I ain't know what to expect. These was hurt people. Whatever. What's up, you got the money? Yeah, T, I got it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. All right, well, let's see it. All right, you got your money, so what's up? I hope you didn't make any plans, compadre, because this might take a while. But you got everything you need here. I'll teach you how to cook it. Got all day, homie, let's do it. After about four to five hours, gang, I have figured it out. 
your boy was about to become the king of ice in the city. Let's get to work, gang. What's going on, gang? Welcome back to the hottest gaming channel on YouTube. It's your boy, Really Rich Gaming. And we back up in this thing with a new episode of that Life of Tiny Ann from 60s, y'all. This is episode 23. If you're new to the channel, I ask you to like, comment, subscribe, share the videos. Also, hit that post notification bell, gang. So you notify every time your boy drop that heat. If you've been supporting your boy, salute to y'all. Appreciate all the love and support, you feel me? And yeah, we in the building, gang. Y'all see where we at, man. Before we get into today's episode, man, hold on. Let's get some money going, man. We ain't really got no money, man. Oh, and if I didn't say it already, continue to check out them other series too, gang. I told y'all we going up with all these series. Yeah, we gonna bulk sell all our product. Yeah. Got 446 grams of it. Y'all see my cook right there. Matter of fact, bro, hey. Oh, okay, okay. I can't have him cook more yet, y'all. Just know it's on. Let's uh, get out here real quick, man. Oh, yeah, and the script that I'm using, gang, is uh, Meth Empire. You know what I'm saying? I'll put a link to the description down below for y'all if y'all want to use it. Quick little drip check, though. You know, you got the Chanel kicks, the white ones with the... I don't know what kind of jeans these is, man. With the DNG, I think that's a DNG, yep. DNG belt on. You know what I'm saying? With the that's an awful lot of slimes. You know what I'm saying? T-shirt on. You feel me? With the Montclair beanie. With the ice on, man. I see the boy, man. Quit playing, man. Who icier than us, man? They better quit playing out here. Shit, gang. Y'all see this thing, though. Rory truck, man. Come on, man. They ain't coming like this, man. Who coming like this, man? Rory truck on them 4 GOs, man. Stop it. Hold on. Let's unlock this thing. Hold on. Hold on. Don't get in. Hey, y'all see it, man. I'm going crazy over here, man. I had to drop that, man. Once the boy house said ain't nobody really had one of these, I'm like, oh, I need it. 400 racks? Okay, it's nothing. Get in this thing, gang. Nasty. Nasty, nasty. Yo, I see it. All right, gang. Let's get it. Damn. This deal far as hell, gang. I ain't gonna lie, man. We might be teleporting to this deal. That's way too far to be driving. Or we can teleport halfway to it. More than halfway for real. Because I ain't finna. Hell no. Yeah, let's do our teleporting. Sorry for this taking so long, gang. I had to go back in and change things, you feel me? Like, that meeting that took place on that yacht, that meeting was not supposed to take place on that yacht. It was supposed to take place at the Yacht Club, which was a mod I downloaded. But when I went to export the video, nothing was showing up. Like, it couldn't render it right, so. I had to go back in there, and I'm like, oh, man. Then another part of it, gang, is when I do videos, you know, I be trying to make it make sense. I try to make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? Because most of this stuff I just come up with off the top of the head. Where the hell my deal at? What's up, bro? How's it going? Is this the person I'm supposed to be meeting? Citizen. Appreciate it. How are you? Did I just sell him some heroin for $2, though? What? How are you? I'm not here to make you no offer. Okay, they just pissed me off, gang. Hold on. They just pissed your boy off, man. They really just pissed me off, man. You know what? Ain't nobody out here, man. 
I'm finna go ahead and put a bullet in Buddy, man. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you fucked up my meth deal, man. You fucked up my deal. Dropped him. Let's try this again, guy. And that just pissed me off, man. That really just pissed me off. And I'm glad I teleported, cause if I had spent all that time driving out here just for that shit to happen, oh yeah, it would have been definitely would have been pissed. And what y'all think y'all finna do, Rod? Bruh. Alright, pull up if you want to. I guess they is. Alright. I ain't got time for this. Hey, Cook, you better get down. It's finna get real out here. Man, we man come on, man. Pull up and get dropped. Man. Pull up and get dropped. Pull up and get dropped. We dropping you off as soon as you pull up. We dropping you off as soon as you pull up. I'm not finna play with y'all, man. I'm not playing with y'all. Matter of fact, damn, I ain't got no grenades. I was finna throw a grenade, y'all. <laughs> I swear. Man, they pissed me off. Oh, okay. Let's get it. Hey, you better quit playing. Better quit playing. Everybody dead. Yep. All right, gang. Back to our regularly scheduled programming, man. That's crazy, man. I got to see if I can set up another deal. This damn script crazy. It might be conflicting with my other scripts, man. That's what I think it is. It's got to be. Oh, look. I told you. I bro ran. I told you. You better get down. Okay, I still got it, y'all. I was finna... Man, I ain't already on no deal. Uh, e. Hold on. Yeah. Let's try this again, guy. They just made me mad. Try this one more time, gang. Definitely might have to delete LS Life for a while while I'm using this one, man. It's, mm -hmm. How everybody doing today, though, man? Hope everybody doing well, man. You know, your boy can't complain, man, you know. Every day above ground is a good day, you feel me? That's how I feel. Oh, yeah, gang. And some more exciting news that's kind of related to this. I know y'all are saying what we get next month. I know y'all are saying what we get next month. And I can't wait. I ain't gonna lie. They done made us wait for 10 years, man. Give us something. Oh, hey, that's crazy. Hey, I got the police off. Hey, this hype, though. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, my bad, gang. We back. I don't know what happened, man. The game just crashed all of a sudden, man. But we back in this thing, man. Let's try this one more time. Then I'm just gonna get the LS life in it, man. But I'm definitely feeling y'all see what happened. Let's box sell all this. All right. They playing with me. Every time. Hold on. Every time your boy got to go back in here and do this, man. Stop playing with my boy, man. He didn't already proved he one of the biggest gangsters in the city, man. Big load. Oh, yeah. But back to what I was saying, man. Oh, did they make my damn lamb truck disappear? I said lamb truck. Rory truck disappear? Hell yeah, they made it disappear, man. You know what? It's all good. It's all good. We ain't even tripping. We ain't even tripping. We can make a whole nother one.
We ain't even tripping, y'all. They can't slow this down. Uh. Okay, I went past them. There we go. Everything that we put into it, man. Hold on. Yeah, they playing games with your boy, man. There we go, gang. We back in this thing, man. What's wrong with him, man? Hold on. Almost, almost. There we go. Yeah, gang. Back to what I was saying, man. I know y'all seen what's coming next month, man. We done waited 10 years for a GTA 6. Tell me how y'all feeling about that, man. Me, personally, I've been waiting for a while. I don't know what they gonna do with it. Oh, y'all think this is a joke. Boy, you died like 20 episodes ago. What's up? We're up. Man, quit playing, man. Now y'all playing with me. Like I said, you died like 20 episodes ago. Oh, okay. Oh, that was the damn buyer. I fucked that up, y'all. <laughs> I messed that up, man. He threw me off. We got to go, though. <coughs> we got to go, though. But, yeah, GTA 6, gang. I definitely can't wait. Hold on. We got to get back to the lab, y'all. <laughs> we got to get back to the lab. Yeah, man. Me, honestly, I just hope that they don't make it too online. Damn, they dropped the, dropped the window. Don't make it too online, you man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Me, maybe because this game been out so long. And, you know, I was playing the GTA online. I, um, I had been stopped playing that, man. People like to troll too much on there, man. All them flying bikes and all that stuff. I think I said this in other videos, too. All them flying bikes and sliding by blowing people up and all that while they trying to get their money, man. I ain't, I don't like that. Definitely don't like that. This is not Saints Row. Do not do that. And Saints Row used to be a good game before they took the goofy approach. One and two. But yeah, hopefully, you know, they don't make it too crazy, man. There we go. We got another deal. Try Like I said, I said the last time, try this one more time. I ain't no LS Life be having me confused, man, but... What I want them to do, I want them to put all the cities from all the GTAs in that one on one map. Like them concepts we've been seeing out there, man. That'll be the hardest. So then, you know what I'm saying, whatever you're doing, especially if all that, you're going to be a trafficker stuff is real, them rumors. Like, I got to be in different cities doing it, you feel me? I just can't have it to just one city, man. We, we got to be cross-country with this. Cross country trapping, man. All right, where the buyer at? Is they inside? Okay. Oh, come on, man. You know what? Yeah. All right, I done had enough of this. Done had enough of this. Done had enough of this. Of course, it's a damn stain. Of course, it is. Damn, they real deal had the feds coming, boy. Ah, fuck that. 
Yeah, they pissing me off now, gang. I ain't gonna lie. Definitely pissing me off with this. Where the hell the lab at, man? You study sending me the dummy buys, man. Tired of that. So Y'all going through the me working out the kinks of this mod, man. It's my first time using it, man. And it's getting late, man. We ain't really made no money today, man. And I don't want to cut on LS Life because if I cut it on, the buyer's going to become customers. Fucker sent me into a bomb bus, man. Come on, man. <laughs> he sent me into a... Bro. Like, I got basically a half of... Come on, now. A half a brick of meth on me, man. You gonna send me out into something like that, man. I ain't made no money. Can we at least make the 35 racks that we supposed to be making off the deal, man? Now, last time was my fault, y'all, because I knocked I knocked dude out, man. But Okay. We right here. This cool. I ain't got to go too far. We can try out of this. Yeah, man. And you know what else would be hype for GTA 6, man? Like, I don't know. They probably want you to have a predetermined main characters and all that stuff. I me, personally, I ain't feeling all that whole Bonnie and Clyde rumor that I'm hearing, man. Let me get in there and do what I do. Make the story just, you know what I'm saying, generic for any person. Like, you can have your online avatar or your customizable character, you know, come and do something. That's me, though. Okay. Where he at? Oh, hit G. Okay. We done sold it to an imaginary person, but okay. Yeah, y'all see it, man. 35 racks we gonna play, man. We ain't, we ain't doing no play play, man. Y'all see how long that took, though, man? Like, dang. It's a long day, man. All right, I got some soft on me, I think, man. We ain't making enough money today, man. We did not make enough money today. But what we is going to do, gang, we going to go back to the spot. We going to start cooking up our next batch, man. Let me see. Where the hell? I be getting confused. Where the hell the lab at? Yeah, sorry y'all. This episode was full of hiccups, man. Hello. Next time, hopefully, it'll be way better. A What's ground, that? bro? You just stopped me for a ground, bro. Get out of my whip. And I got another mod that I looked at that I think I'm going to try out for out here, gang. I don't know. We going to see. Look, they chasing me down. Yeah, I got everything, man. We still got some of that work we took from the boy Lil Gritty, man. You know what I'm saying? He tried to run off on us first. No, my boy. We the finessers of anything. Y'all need anything, man? You know, I got everything. But y'all just can't be hanging around this establishment, man. Y'all make my shit look too shady. Go up here, man. Tell my cook to get on it. And what is you up there doing, man? You supposed to be up there working. It's all good. We got supplies anyways, man. I'm going to have him on. Uh... I need another big batch, homie. Yeah. We ain't finna wait for all that. Y'all see how I do, though. 
Damn, what's up? What you need, homie? Don't just be running up in my lab, man. I almost shot you. Appreciate it. Oh! Okay. Bet. It's finna get real, gang. This how they wanna end the episode off. Oh! Oh! Fuck me! Yeah, man, run! If you can't yeah, hey, if you can't protect yourself, you better run. Cause they finna yeah, they blitzing this motherfucker. They blitz in the spot. Oh, y'all think y'all finna run off with some free math? Uh-uh. Man, that weak ass tech you got. You playing. Alright. Oh, okay. Yeah, quit playing with me. Damn, they sending them boys in here, man. Alright. You good, bro. John Wick, everything in here, man. Oh, oh yeah, real life, your boy would have been gone. Where you at? I know where you at. I know where you at. Where you at? Yup, I knew you was right there. Y'all think y'all finna come rob me? Man, cause I don't get robbed, man. On neighborhood crib, man. Quit playing with me, man. Hold on. On neighborhood. All right. I think I dropped the thing, man. I think I did. Hey, <laughs> my cook ran. His ass probably like, man, I ain't built for this shit, man. Hell no. Oh, nope, I didn't. Okay, we got one back out in the front. Okay. Let's get it. I ain't even expect this. Watch this pop out the cut. Where you at? Oh, right there. Hey there. Yeah. How's things with you? Hey, you need to get out of here, man. Okay, we got some more meth too, guy. That's crazy, man. This was a this was a, a productive but a non productive first day. We only made 40000 Man, who the hell is you? The sheriff, bro? I'm not. No, he ain't the sheriff. I thought he had on the damn uniform at first, man. Get your, get your drugs and get out of here, man. Try to find this one last person, man. Hey man, sorry I'm serving you with the, you know what I'm saying, with this out, man. How's but big shootout. Hey, mm. That's crazy. That's crazy. I can't even find the other ones, man. Ain't nobody else in here. It can't be. I'd have been seeing them already. I trying to have a shootout with me in the damn meth lab, man. Real life, man. We all blowing up, man. I'm just going to say everybody dead, man. They just, I don't know. I don't know. I still got a lot of stuff to figure out about this mod game. We going to see. Yeah, everybody dead. Yeah, though, gang. I hate I had to end the episode off like this, but I think I'm going to have to end it right now. But if you like what you're seeing today, like, comment, subscribe, share the videos. Continue to check out that Tales from the Trenches with that boy Infant G Stone and that Rags to Riches with the boy Big Frank. We only getting bigger and better, man.
They can't stop none of this, man. But yeah, it's your boy, Really Rich Gaming, and I'm out.